Hi guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Honest Try TV. Today I will be making the chicken, yeah, with demi glaze and roasted garlic mashed potatoes by Gobble. So I'm actually going to be making this for my parents. They just arrived. If you're not already a member, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any comments, questions, recommendations that you have down below. There will also be a referral code. Whoops, looks like my packaging came open. There will also be a referral code for um, Gobble down in the description box if you're interested in checking them out for yourselves. I like them because their recipes typically take me about 20 to 25 minutes. They say 15 minutes, but the girl is slow, so. All right, so I have a conventional oven. I'm gonna preheat it to 450 now. All right, got my oven going. And let's get started. So we need to slice our baby carrots in half lengthwise, and then roughly chop the roasted garlic cloves. Where are my roasted garlic cloves? Mommy, you see my roasted garlic cloves? No doubt. Here we go, boom. Then we're gonna place our chicken breast um, what am, what am I doing with the oven now? Let me just read ahead real quick because it looks like everything is going in the stove. So I don't understand why I'm preheating my oven. So we're supposed to paper towel, pat dry, season salt, pepper, and coriander. Oh, we're supposed to place in an oven safe saute pan. Then we're going to sear it, basically, and then put it in the oven. I still don't see where I'm supposed to place it in the oven pan. Oh, here it is. Add it to the pan, rearrange, skin side, up, place the pan into the oven, cook for 8 to 10 minutes. <sighs> Do I have an oven safe? Old place. Okay, All right, so the only thing that I have is this very small skillet. So we're going to give it a shot. Yes, Mommy, can you please slice our carrots? They look clean. They look clean. All right, so Mom's over there doing prep work for our carrots. Lengthwise, you say? Uh, yeah, lengthwise. Um, all right, and then I need to chop these, so I'm going to grab my ninja and do that. In the meantime, I'm going to place these chicken breasts on a paper towel and dry them. And I'm going to go ahead and get this going with one tablespoon of olive oil. And we also just got back recently from a trip with my parents on a Mediterranean cruise. So we flew into Barcelona and then took the Norwegian Epic um, around the Mediterranean. Why is this a single? Did I screw up? Did I screw up? Or are they? There they go. Okay. I was like, why is there only one piece of chicken? Okay. So this is the boneless, skinless chicken breast. I was panicking because there's supposed to be two in there. For a second, I thought I only had one. Oh, there's one. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just... So yeah, if you're interested in checking that out, those videos should be up on the channel by now. They are. Oh, they are? Oh, cool. My mom knows better than I do. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna towel dry, season both sides with salt. Handy dandy pink Himalayan. Okay. Okay, and then season the skin side with coriander and black pepper. Spice. Here we go. Black pepper and coriander. Okay. 
Here you go. So my mom's gonna throw these into the ninja. This is our roasted garlic. Just gonna chop these up. The carrots are done. And I am going to go throw this into the pan. So it says, blah, 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 blah. Carefully place the chicken breast skin side down into the pan and cook for three minutes. Turn over the chicken and cook for one additional minute. Let me go ahead and do that. It over with me. Here's Mama working it out with the Ninja. You can plug it right into the island, Mom. It's right there by your knee. Our grease is evenly spread. Come on, come on. I threw them in a little bit, so. So you can see the action. Setting my timer for three minutes. I'm gonna spread the oil around a little bit. Put that even coating there. Alright. So that's three minutes on that, and then we'll flip it over. And we turn it up just a smidge more. Because it is supposed to be on medium high. We'll come back over here. So here's how our garlic is looking. Our roughly chopped garlic. Thank you so much, Mommy. All right. Can you see the instruction? So after we flip our chicken over, we're supposed to add the carrots to the pan and rearrange the chicken breast skin side up over the carrots, okay? And then place in, place the pan in the oven and cook for another 10 minutes. All right, so it doesn't have to be side by side. The chicken's actually supposed to go on top of the carrots, and thank God, because I got a small skillet. All right, so we'll be back and we're ready to, uh, to uh, do step number four and add our carrots to the pan. In the meantime, I'm just going to cook it skin side down three minutes, flip it, cook it one additional minute, and then we'll be back. Okay, we're back. So the chicken is done. I'm going to fry to transfer the carrots to the pan. Hold on. I'll try to move these out the way. There. Okay, I'm going to turn it down. Uh, and it says to lay it on top of it. Yeah. Add baby carrots to the pan. Rearrange skin side up. Oops. Skin side. Up over the carrots, place the pan into the oven and cook for eight to 10 minutes. All right, so that's the stuff that I'm at now. So let's go ahead and do that. My oven is at 4.30, so we're basically there. Make sure you don't get the I know, trying not to die. All right, so I'm gonna throw this into the oven. So I just threw the skillet in the oven and let's see what else are we supposed to do carefully remove the pan from the oven set on top of stove top take out the chicken to let it rest and then we're supposed to add the sugar snap peas is the kitty here and water and then for the final step we prepare our mashed potatoes so we're basically just waiting at this point so let me make sure i set my oven I'm gonna go for eight minutes and then we will come back in just a second. Say hi, yo, Needle. Say hi, yo, it's dinner time. Hi, Gamma. Welcome back, Gamma. Time to give me some tweets. I heard her say, Oh, what am I, a chopped liver? 
My mom comes and you don't even know me. No. Nito. You don't give me no treats, mom. I give you treats. Yeah. I also scoop your poop and feed you every day. See, 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 oh, yeah. wow. The disrespect. <laughs> what loyalty. <laughs> what loyalty. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I have been cast aside. All right, so we're back. And we are... Taking our, that beeping means our chicken is done. So I'm about to pop it out and we're going to place it on the stove top per the instructions and then take the chicken off. Mommy, can you grab me a plate? And there we go. All right. I heard you. I heard you. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right. So here's our chicken being transferred over here to rest off to the side. Now we need to add our snap peas plus two tablespoons of water. So here's one. Mama's got the second one too. Boom. Thank you so much. And here's our snap peas going in. And we're supposed to set this on medium high. Okay. And cover with a lid. Mommy, good luck to us finding a lid. Boom, that works. That works. All right, so I'm setting my timer three minutes. All right. And we'll be back after three minutes to season with salt and pepper. Um, and then transfer our vegetables. Okay, so we're back. So... I have my mashed potatoes in the bowl. We're moving on to the next step. I have my damp paper towel going over the bowl and the bowl will be going into the microwave for 90 seconds. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Start it's been 90 roast seconds. Garlic and microwave an additional. Yep. Don't put too much garlic in. All right. Give me a spin, please, Mom. Right behind you. Tell me when. I don't know. Yes, you do. This My mom is not a fan of garlic. Half of it? Yeah. Half of it? That much? Yeah, that looks good. Because it's a lot of mashed potatoes. Okay. Okay. We'll just use, uh, this is how much they sent. I'm only going to use, like, essentially a tablespoon's worth. My mom's not a huge fan of garlic, so we're going to hold back. So just microwave Don't for an additional minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, our vegetables should be ready. Let me go grab those. Okay, so our veggies are done. We're gonna divide this up. How much do you want, Mama? Um, I'll take you in a minute. All right, let's pop out our mashed potatoes. We should be done. Ooh, it's hot. I'll just turn it off for now and let it sit in there. So we, d Mom's right. We do need to. So why don't I grab um, a bowl, small bowl. We're gonna remove our veggies from the pan because the last step is to create the demi-glaze. And I'm gonna need the pan to do that. So I'm gonna take out the rest of these vegetables. Set them aside. All right, so picking right back up, our final step will be to prepare the chicken demi-glaze sauce. So we need to add that to our pan. Uh, here we go. I'll pour that right in there. One thing that I have to say I love about gravel are the sauces. Like the sauces and the spices and the marinades are fire. I think that's like the secret behind their recipes. They really do a great job with seasoning them. All the seasoning and spices are amazing. All right, so there we go. And I need to set this on, I think, medium high and add water. So two tablespoons. One, two. There we go. And, since we're just a moment on the side, mm -hmm. um, and then we need to use a 
spoon. I don't have a spoon. I've been using tongs this whole time, but we're going to scrape the fond off the bottom. And we're just going to cook this for 45 seconds or until simmering and then slightly reduce until slightly reduced. So until some of the water has evaporated. And then we will turn off the heat and we'll be ready to serve. And I think we're good. Yep, that should do it. <laughs> you can hear my baby in the background. He's playing with grandpa. And we're done. So we're going to just Let's see, so we spoon the roasted garlic mashed potatoes next to our carrots and our peas. We're gonna spoon the demi glaze alongside the vegetables and then top our chicken. All right, so let me go ahead and get my little pot holder here because this is hot. And so take our sauce, spoon it over the chicken. Alongside our that's it, right? okay. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in real quick and let you see my little masterpiece here. So we got our mashed potatoes, our chicken fancy French name I'll try to destroy right now, and then our vegetables. And let's give it a shot. I am going to put some salt and pepper on the veggies. And let's give it a try. I know, Mom. All right, I'm going to try just a little teensy bit of yours, Mom. And let's see how it tastes. All right, so let's start with our chicken and mashed potatoes. I'm going to take a little tiny bite because this is not my food and my parents are hungry. And I don't want to deprive them. All right, so there we go. Mmm. Um, fantastic. Mm-hmm. Without eating any more, I would well mama here, you try it. Mama try it. Let me know what you think. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm keeping your baby food. Yeah. But ten minutes is definitely too much time, so. No. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Try the rest of it, Mama. You literally tried one thing. <laughs> we did cook a whole meal. You gonna vote based on the potatoes alone? They did so very good. Okay, here's a knife. Try the chicken. You don't feed your father. He's gonna come in here and beat you up. <laughs> Well, if you hurry up and taste test it, we can feed it. Pepper. Uh -oh. oh, pepper. <coughs> the, the coriander and the black pepper. Whatever. You all right? <coughs> oh, Lord. You all right, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> it's good. <coughs> Eat the baby food so you can feed the baby. It's good. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give him? Your grandson will be fine. Probably about an 8. An 8? Yeah. I would give it a good solid 9, actually. I really, really enjoyed this. So, again, guys, this has been the chicken something something with demi glaze and roasted garlic mashed potatoes from Gobble. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below. Check out that referral link down below if you're interested in checking out Gobble for yourself. 
And we will see you on the next episode of Honest Try TV. Let me hurry up and feed my family. Bye.